What's going on guys? My name is Exotic Gaming and welcome back to a highly anticipated Pixel Gun 3D video. Today we're going to be taking a look at another one of the brand new industrial themed weapons of Pixel Gun 3D, the Particle Accelerator. I don't know about you guys, but I have to say that's one of the coolest sounding weapons in Pixel Gun 3D history. But hey, maybe that's just me. Guys, Really quickly, if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe and most importantly, turn on notifications so you don't miss the next few videos. As I mentioned in my other video from today where I reviewed the Industrial Nailer, the next two weeks will be filled with more uploads than ever, as you guys have already seen over the past couple of days. So yeah, that's awesome. Leave a like if you're excited and without wasting any more time, Let's do this. Going into the armory section, this is what you guys came here to see, the Particle Accelerator. As I said, that's an awesome sounding gun. It looks awesome, it sounds awesome, and it is awesome. It's a sniper rifle with a 10 times zoom and a ricocheting ability. It's like a better version of the alien sniper rifle, as you guys can see right here, but it's meant for even longer range than the alien sniper rifle, where this one has a six times zoom and this one has a 10 times zoom. It's legendary with a 31 efficiency, a 76 firing rate, a 12 capacity and a 65 mobility. And alongside weapons like the industrial nail or the pizza heater and the jet tenderizer, this is one of the brand new industrial weapons of Pixel Gun 3D. Now, this is a sniper rifle. So what we're gonna do is go into Paradise Resort. At times, Paradise Resort might not be the ideal map for this weapon, but we're gonna try our absolute hardest to get the longest ranged possible gameplay in this map, because that is where this weapon will shine. And as you can see right there, that was one of those perfect examples of how the ricocheting works very well for this weapon. You gotta take advantage of some of those special abilities that these weapons have. Ricocheting is a fantastic ability and not many weapons have this in Pixel Gun 3D. Now I'm not 100% sure what this guy is shooting at. He's instantly trying to run over here. But as you guys will see, even at close range, this weapon can do relatively well. You don't obviously want to keep this weapon at close range because at times you're obviously going to get beaten by people like that guy with a champion solar cannon or the solar power cannon, sorry. But at long range, this weapon is an absolute beast. It's generally going to be a three shot kill, which is not bad by any means. And a weapon with a zero travel time ricocheting shot ability, that's freaking awesome. Now, yes, sometimes you will get a two-shot kill, as you guys can see right there. Ideally, you might want to find somebody that's already low on health, so your single shot will just instantaneously wreck the enemy player. Yes, at times, you won't always take those enemy players out, but, oh my god, when you do, some of those kills are some of the coolest ever, and you can even do trick shots like this, trying to line them up and get that ricocheting to hit the enemy player, which... As you can see right there, we finally actually got it. You can get some awesome shots with this weapon in Pixel Gun 3D. Even this guy here, he's using the old weapon, the older alien sniper rifle that no one cares about anymore. That's a lie, I actually care about it a lot. It's a really cool weapon, but that thing's old news, my friends. Relentless reveal. That weapon is not the weapon of this update. We gotta talk about this thing, which is just an absolute beast of a gun that's generally going to be a two-shot headshot. I mean, my God, guys, you guys can see this thing is just such a pleasure to, pleasure to use. I love using this weapon. It's so much fun, and I definitely recommend getting it in Pixel Gun 3D. Whereas before, when I talked about the Industrial Nailer not necessarily being a weapon that has its place in Pixel Gun 3D 2018, this one does, and it does at a very high price. This one will get the job done at medium to long range, even at close range sometimes if you're ridiculously accurate. That's never a range I would recommend using this weapon in, but it can be done. It can be done. If you miss your shots, well, it might not be the greatest weapon for you, but it is a weapon that you can use if you wanna get better with snipers in Pixel Gun 3D in general. I always recommend using snipers quite often in this game because you need to be able to learn how to be accurate with these weapons. If you don't, you're missing out on a huge portion of Pixel Gun 3D. 
everybody should learn how to use sniper rifles. If you haven't done so already, well, you gotta do so. And even if you don't plan on getting this weapon because maybe you can't afford it, well, use a sniper rifle that you do have already and practice with that, learn with that, become more accurate in this game, and that way you can get the victory like I just did right there. 12 kills, no problem whatsoever. That's what you can expect when you use this weapon. Now, this weapon is called the Particle Accelerator, right? Now, maybe you guys don't know this. If you're a big fan of science and engineering and stuff like this, then you probably will. Well, basically, there is this little system, I shouldn't say little because it's absolutely massive. There is this system that they have, I believe in Switzerland, where Oh my God, Ugh, I can't even explain. That was a little intense. That guy was staring right at me. They have this system in Switzerland where basically they can accelerate atoms around in a big loop, in a big circle. I guess you could call it kind of like a centrifuge in a way. I don't know if that's the proper term, but I'm gonna call it that, where it spins around at a super high speed and they can collide atoms together to produce the hottest temperatures ever recorded. Did you know? The hottest temperature ever recorded in the universe was right there in that accelerator. I believe they collided two very small atoms together and that small explosion created a temperature of like six billion degrees times a thousand, okay? It was an absolutely ridiculous temperature and well, this is kind of, I guess, what that weapon is based off of. This is like the accelerator of atoms. And then when they accelerate together and they explode together, they end up creating a massive explosion that shoots out of the gun and then instantly disintegrates the enemy player. Imagine if they could do that. They're probably working towards creating weapons with that, which whether or not you guys think is cool or not, I don't know, it's up for debate. Um, that's probably something they're actually working on in real life to accelerate atoms to the point where they explode very small ones and then that ends up creating a massive explosion. That's kind of like how hydrogen and atomic bombs are. So this is essentially like the atomic bomb in the form of a very small sniper rifle that gets the job done with a massive amount of power. I love this saying so much, guys, and I will be using this weapon a lot off camera. So if you play Pixel Gun 3D on an Android device, as of right now, I don't have it on my iOS device, but I hope to God I get it soon, then you will probably end up seeing me a lot of times using this thing because it's fun, man. It's so fun to have a weapon with a sniper ability that just crushes enemies, robot samurais don't stand a chance, other enemy players with other sniper rifles don't stand a chance. This thing is just, it's just awesome. And that's really all I could possibly say about this. I don't really have any negative things I could possibly say about this. This sniper rifle is just so freaking awesome. It's not OP, that's the best part about it because it's not a one-shot kill. It's just fun to use. And it's one of those ones that does give you more and more accuracy as you use it, as with most sniper rifles in Pixel Gun 3D. You use a sniper rifle if you wanna become more accurate in this game. And the people that do do well with sniper rifles are people that are accurate in this game. Some of the people that are watching this video are going to not be super accurate Pixel Gun 3D players and then are going to be commenting things like, exotic, but I don't do well with sniper rifles. Well you need to practice. And then with that, you'll eventually get fantastic gameplay with something like this, the Particle Accelerator, where it is one of your best weapons in Pixel Gun 3D if you know how to use it right. I love this thing so much. In maps like Paradise Resort, it will absolutely destroy the enemies. Yes, at times you won't always be able to take people out, but my God, the times that you do, you feel like you just you feel like you did literally what the Particle Accelerator does, and that's why I like this weapon so much. Somebody is sitting there commenting that I am a Pop-Tart. I don't like that, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna get him a nice headshot. Even kill him if he has a demon stoned. I don't like Ice Cold Boy for calling me a Pop-Tart. I think of myself as better than that. I'm a better snack food than a Pop-Tart. If I was a Pop-Tart, man, I don't know. If I was a single snack food, I, I'd call myself an Oreo or a goldfish. I don't really know. Let's see how many kills we actually got in this match. We got 12 in the last one, seven in this one. So you can get yourself very close to first place in almost every single match you go into. Now I would leave this match. Unfortunately though, the problem is I get this weird little glitch where I guess I'm gonna have to. So I'm gonna cut this video and I'll see you guys in just a sec. So yes, my friends, as I said earlier, I do have this weird glitch for whatever reason, whenever I leave a match, it just sits there on the loading screen indefinitely. And I don't know why that happens, but it does. 
It's annoying, and I apologize for that. So what we're going to do is hopefully go back into a different match in Paradise Resorts, seeing what could potentially happen. Hopefully, praying to God that there are more people in this match. There we go. We got a decent amount of people right now. Let's continue killing all these noobs, starting off with Kingsley, who didn't stand much of a chance. So yes, guys. As I said earlier, a billion times already, I love the Particle Accelerator. I cannot recommend this thing enough if I was to rate this weapon between 1 and 10. Honestly, I'd give this weapon at least a 9.5. I'd give this weapon pretty close to a 10 because this is almost as good as it gets for a sniper rifle in Pixel Gun 3D. Even if you don't even scope and you just use this thing with a no scope at longer range, you can still just destroy people like Cool Boy. Doesn't even stand much of a chance. Not sure why that wasn't a two-shot headshot. I guess that guy had some sort of an armor boost, which goes to show you, yes, at times it could potentially be a three-shot kill, but that's rare. That's quite rare. Most of the time, as I'll show you guys over the next couple of minutes, it's generally going to be a two-shot kill. But we don't have much else we could possibly say here about this thing. Particle Accelerator Man, you're gonna accelerate everybody into oblivion. They won't even stand much of a chance. I don't like people that bounce themselves up and down with the OX bad code. It makes it difficult and annoying to try to take them out. So yes, guys, we're going to end the video on this note. I, uh, I cannot recommend this thing enough. How many times have I said that? Probably too many. Count, count how many times I've said that and let me know down below in the comments section. Um, but yes, that's basically it, guys. I've already recorded a bunch of videos today, kind of pre-recorded some stuff. It feels like my phone is almost acting up. Sometimes I'm pressing the firing button and it's just not working, which is a little bit of a problem. That's a little bit unfortunate. And I think that probably is a good signal to where I should probably end the video here. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the fantastic gameplay I got in this video. Got a lot of really cool kills. Those are some kills that you can get if you get the Particle Accelerator. Now, it does have a ridiculous price. I don't know if it still is worth the price, even if it is one of the best snipers in Pixel Gun 3D. You could probably get relatively similar gameplay with the Laser Bouncer or the Alien Sniper Rifle. So honestly, if you really were to want to find a weapon that had ricocheting ability and was a sniper... Maybe the alien sniper rifle is the way to go. So, yes, guys, I'm going to end it on this note. I've said that too many times already. Whenever I end up cutting a video and then trying to go back into the match, it always screws me up, and that's why my gameplay is not as good right now as it was before. I get into the groove of things, and then when it ends up screwing up, I kind of get all jolted around. I'm like, oh, God, I don't know what to do. And then, well, things usually go downhill from there. So, yes, let's go get one last headshot on this guy, and then we'll end the video on this note. Hope you guys did enjoy leave a like, subscribe for more Pixel Gun 3D content. There is a lot coming very, very soon over the next couple of weeks, as I've said like a billion times already. Turn on notifications for more Pixel Gun 3D content, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.